Hi guys! So, you know I always talk about being that I am a makeup artist and I enjoy doing makeup on Partner in Crime. Because he's such a great canvas to work on. So shush me, you are. He's such a great canvas. And it is New York Fashion Week. And so I want to show you guys what I do when I'm working in grooming guys because I do a lot of grooming on guys um, during Fashion Week. Sometimes their shows is strictly a menswear line. So I'll show you what I will be doing. I like using Fab, which is First Aid Beauty. It's their tinted moisturizer. It's called a tint skin, but it's basically a tinted moisturizer. I like using that one, and I'm gonna use medium. And this one is Biosense. I hope I'm correct, pronouncing it correctly. I know on Instagram, you guys like taking and putting it and dabbing it on the face. I don't normally do it that way. I like to take and use the product. But one, two good drops. And I like putting it on my mixing palette. Ooh. Then I take my sponge. Which is from Forever Glam. Mix it together. Like that. And then I start with the face. So I'm doing the prepping and the foundation. So I'm doing basically two in one. So I like to pat where I'm placing the product first. Like that. And do you like these sponges honestly? I'm actually enjoying the sponges. It feels nice, I will say that. And I feel like, like my clients are enjoying it, the models are enjoying it. It's not picking up a lot of product. It's very natural and it blends amazing. It almost feels and looks like you have nothing on the face. I mean, if you just look really quick at Johnny's forehead, look how amazing that looks. Look how it's very blendable, and I like that a lot. So now I'm going to go, and I like to do a lot of padding instead of just swiping it across because I really want the products to really get into the skin. So I am going to keep that technique but I feel like you can get away with not having to do it. And if you can see the product. It's barely there. Yeah. So that is nice. So this is what I like to do. I'm a patter instead of just swiping it and moving it that way. Can you see that? Oh, it's pretty. It's beautiful. All my redness is gone. Then I am going to take my absolute so don't laugh, because you can tell that I love it a lot. <laughs> I, I really use it often. And um, I'm gonna go with the second color. This one. I love it so much that I, it's broken. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna be it's real worn down. It's worn down, that's how much I love it. So now I'm just gonna pat some powder on top because I still want like his skin to come through, but I want to take some of it down, some of that shine down. I love this. So a little bit more from the inside, and I go inside out. Okay, I felt that. You felt that? Mm -hmm. so, because I want to get more coverage here, and then less coverage there. That makes sense. So it's always inside out for me. And then I blend that up, back into the forehead. Not a lot on the beard, or if someone has like hair, facial hair for guys. So it'll show up and look ashy. Yeah, right? but you still want it to blend it a little bit. Take a look at that. Isn't that amazing? Now, guys, this is what we our product have been waiting for. <laughs> what are we gonna do on me? I want to do resting with the face. <laughs> Brandy's go-to. This is my go-to product. Oh, it's, it's look at the bling, you guys. It it's is bling. pink, and it's our highlight. It, it blings. Do you want to even see it on me? How much it blings? Look at this. Look at your glow. You can see your glow from back there. Like what the. <laughs> Really, like, so everybody cool. will see you. So, the Spotlight Collection, 
is very true to his name. So, so with that being said, I am going to start. I always start being serious now. I always start my highlighter at the um, hairline, and then I bring it out. Now you can either just bring it from here to here, from the, his hairline to his cheek, and not bring it all the way over. It just depends on the person, and it just depends on how dramatic I want to be. If I want to be very dramatic, then it's coming all the way out. Which we do. Which I'm always very dramatic. But look how amazing that is. Can you see that, guys? I mean, I can. It's wonderful. So same thing. I always go in and out. Then I want to give him a little bit of um, brow. A brow glow. So I go right over. It's right, literally like right over the brow. And then I'm going to go back to my absolute New York palette. And I'm going to do a matte of a bronzer. And I'm going to hit up his cheeks. So I can really play up that highlighter. So I like to highlight first. And then I go in and then I use my bronzer to contour with. Oh my god, this is gorgeous on him. Johnny. I need the absolute palette. That palette is amazing. It's the strobing contour palette. I'm obsessed with it. I saw it at IMATS and I was like, should I? Well, you should have. I should have. It's a palette that I take with me everywhere. And as you can see, I take with me everywhere. Mm -hmm. I can't get enough of it. So take a look at that. Look, oh my word, look at that highlight. Highlight. That's wonderful. So now I'm just taking the blending it now. Really good because I don't want any of those sharp lines coming through. And then if you want, you can take and use like a highlighter like ours. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the highlighter on his eyes now. Look up for me, Johnny. And I'm bringing it to the bottom eye. Underneath. Take a look at that. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That is really pretty. That's real. I'm so excited. It is our product. I love it. And if you want to have more fun with it, closer to me, I'm going to put some in his crease. Strictly in the crease. I'm not going to even go on the lid because I want to show you why I'm doing it that way. Keep close. Then I'm going to take and blend it. So now, it's strictly in the crease. And I would do this with the guy for Fashion Week. Ladies, you can do this year round. So I'm using another Absolute New York product and one of their brushes, eyeshadow brushes. And I am going only in the crease to blend it out. Take a look at that. Ooh. Isn't that sexy? That's sick. Oh my God. And that's our product. Correct. That's what's so great about it. Look down for me. Perfect. I'm going to use a little mascara. The one that I picked up was from IT. I need a minute. I need a minute. He, need a, he needs a minute. Diva needs a minute. So while he needs a minute, I want y'all to see that glow. And just really light. I'm not making it too crazy. Take a look. Oh, that I contour love. though. Oh my god. I think I need more highlighter. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't saying nothing. Should we spray it? it? You ain't saying nothing. <laughs> so let's spray you first then. I like to do a, like, a little setting spray. Oh, it smells so good. It smells good. It feels good. Which one is that again? That one's from Biodora. Wait till you all see. 
And as you can see, there's like no, no fallout. It's triple milled, so it's soft, it's wet, and it's a huge pan. And it yeah. comes with a brush and a mirror and a box. So it comes with the brush, which is right underneath. This is the brush, really cute, and I love it. Okay, John, take a look. Perfect. Wow. Okay. Oh, I love. So if I was doing the men's grooming, this is a great look without putting color, like purples and greens and, and blues and pinks. No, this would be um, more than enough for a guy for fashion week for menswear. So if you guys still need a <laughs> nice artist, bless me. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so this is definitely a, a completed look that I would do on a guy for fashion week for a menswear line. So I love this look that I created for the of beauty. Johnny, you look amazing. Uh, it's a year at work. I hope you guys I love, love it. it. <laughs>